Hello, beautiful family. How are you all doing? Thank you so dearly for always tuning in. I really appreciate. Today, the first time you are coming across us, uh, so you are hearing this voice for the first time. We still remain progress news and we give you all the latest updates. Remember, in this platform, we react to all videos and your opinion is highly needed. So sit back, watch this video, and I'll be right back. There was a seat at home. A DSS agent was shot down by police. Enforcing seat at home. When they get close, they see that the person who was enforcing the seat at home was uh, DSS personnel. Then they came again when Gulag visited him on state. AP, let me tell you, Gulag was an instrument which get Hopos Adema into power. Gulag was, by our investigation from the fact on ground, Gulag was the person they have understanding with, he has understanding with Hopos Adema. And he fulfilled his part. Hopo Zodema refused to fulfill his part. And Hopo Zodema and the APC government assassinated Gulag because the day of sit at home, they put it in the head of uh, to blackmail our struggle. I want to take you through, I won't take your time. Um, I know that uh, many people are sleeping, mostly in Europe and and maybe some US, Canada, I think some of you may be awake. Why I come by this time is that your location are involved in this matter. I want to take you through a series of events that took place. Now, when we are about to make, or we're making a very uh, good progresses, they've come. And I wanted to tell you the motive of this attack. The people they kill in that convoy, they are our brothers. We don't kill our own. So I don't see a reason why agitator who want freedom will be eliminating people. We don't do that. And this people is not even a threat to us. Well, let me use. Now, the Nigerian government threw up the assassinated Gulag. This assassination did not start today. Like this Tinubu that they want to confirm as a president. Ask Tinubu what happened to Funshaw William. The only way for Funshaw William and uh, for Tinubu to get to where he is today is to assassinate Funshaw William in Lagos State. Funshaw William was running, contesting then in the umbrella of PDP, and it was accepted by all in Yerba land. It was accepted by all. So the best thing Tinubu could do was to assassinate Funshaw William. Now they now use uh, Omisere or whatever they call him, who they claim that the uh, assassination of uh, Funshaw William was in detention and won Senate. <laughs> you can see. If they said they did an act, there's somebody they use to do it. From the base of my knowledge, there is a squad they call Rover's team in DSS. Those days, I was opportune to be close to the corridor of Atiku. You see, this squad called Rover's team in DSS, if you are in DSS member, you know what I'm saying. Most of the atrocity that are being committed is done by you guys. Rover's squad in DSS. You know yourself. 9% of atrocity, or let me say 95% of atrocity committed is done by you guys. Yes. Now you ask yourself, is there a squad called Rover's Squad? And if you see that there is a squad that called Rover's Squad, then what is this, the, the duty of Rover's Squad in DSS? I've been with you guys. I live in the villa for two years, so I know what I'm saying. So, I am, I am now asking the Rover squad, then go do your verification in DSS. There was a team, maybe they're still existing team now, or they've changed name, but they call them Rover's squad. That's Rover's squad, what is their duty? <laughs> their duty is deities. They are, do, they are the one that does government deities. The Rover squad. They are the one who does 
official deities in DSS for federal government, for state government. They, they call them that squad, Rover squad in DSS. Now I ask you, what is your real job? Your job is basically based on assassination. Some of you was complaining when Obasanjo wanted to time tenor. You guys should ask Obasanjo, after all the sacrifices that he did in Nasrawa states, in Nasrawa states, with the lives of human beings that he does all this nonsense he did, he didn't still get the third time agenda that he was pursuing. One of you inside uh, Atiku's uh, house then, we are very, very bitter that I was complaining. After you guys win that journey, come back inside Nasrawa State. So now I'm trying to lay a foundation of what I'm, I'm about to say. We dig things out and we say things. It may not be now, but at the end of the day, you say, ha, ah, it was true to what Gaddafi said it was real. But that is fact. Now, if I may ask federal government of Nigeria, what is the duty of Rover? squad apart from assassination apart from carrying out hits that is what they are specialized on doing now these are the current events that took place there is a one um Abbas Masha that was assassinated these are the jobs, the federal deities, the terrorist government, the Nigerian terrorist government, the deities, the does. Every major hit, the hit of Bola Ige. These are things they do because when they want to blackmail something, they do something. It is their stock. Now they've come to our struggle, the Biafra agitation, the Biafra liberation movement we are into now. It's no longer the time of miscreants, like all those, uh, that uh, transgender guy that lives in South Africa that played hairs. No, it's not the time of uh, this one. They say like recent time they were saying, uh, Gaddafi do this, Gaddafi collect this money from so, so, so people. So, so. Every black man has a reward. I don't respond to those nonsense. I don't respond to them. The time we are today is the time whereby I, I sit down to lose my brain on how do I convince nations that will support what we are doing. I don't even have time for myself. Those who know me closely know that I ate once in a day, not because I have enough food in my house. I don't even have time for myself. Either I go to even time for myself, I don't have there. Some of you who calls me on phone knows and there is no time you call me on my phone. You see this number you see on the screen? It's my direct number. <laughs> this number rings any time. Even when I'm sleeping, I see your call. I will pick to know what is the problem. We are not here to do big boy because when you choose to serve the people, you must be willing to make yourself available. So that is on one side. But what I'm trying to say is is that they have come again with their stock in trade, committing crime to blackmail what we are doing. And I want you to be agents that carry the real message, changing the narratives that enemy is writing against us. Even the Bible says rewriting the ordinances. Bible call it rewriting the ordinances that was written against us. That is why you see me here now. I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm encouraging you to move. If you cannot come and do what I'm doing, the one I'm doing, please help me share it. Do the needs food that you need to do because the time to set the record straight has come. The Nigerian Nigerian government to commit that attack in Ogbaru. You know what they want to do? They want to see if there could be a way they will activate the use of Tukano jets in the southeast because there was a, an embargo 
put upon them for them not to use the tokeno jet against the civilian. So what they want to do is they want to commit a crime against the United States who give them that tokeno jet so that they will see that, yes, you see what we have been telling you, so that they will give, him, give them the permission to use the tokeno jet against the Biafran people. They come for. I made them to, if I may ask, a whole United States of America have events. <laughs> you know, Blinken came to Nigeria and collected the Ghana must go and went back to America and start talking carelessly. And from the press briefing of the Secretary of State of the United States, who categorically told you that none of these United States citizen was hurt, meaning that. I want us to see the collaboration between the outside and the within. Our leader prophesies. I will play you that message to reactivate your brain, to remind you that a time like this will come. Because our leader has told us, and we are willing and ready, waiting for it to come. When it comes, we handle them. Now, United States was the country who gave intelligence report that they, will be, they are going to be bombing in Abuja. And they conducted a search and they got a bomb box in the same Abuja. And when they conducted the, the, the search, I got a picture of that bomb. <clears throat> I tr start tracing where the bomb was manufactured. The bomb was also, the company that manufactured those bombs are domiciled in the United States at their headquarters. <laughs> Though they are all over the world, but their headquarters is in the US. Now, how did they get, how did those people that use, make use of the bomb, how did they get, get it? Who supplied it to them? The state who got the information, the intelligent details that there's going to be a bomb attack in Abuja did not know also that their convoy is going to be attacked. The United Nations that went to a captive den, a lion's den of Boko Haram to free they are captured um, uh, uh, citizens that were captured by, by uh, uh, Boko Haram. They went to free them. Even without the knowledge of Nigerian government, they went as far as freeing their, uh, their citizen that was captured. Maybe they did it with their satellite, and the same satellite was switched off in Obaru. <laughs> in Obaru, because they don't have the details. They had it in the news the same way we had it. The king, the king of intelligence report did not know what happened in Obaru, did not get intel of the attack in Obaru. Hmm? <clears throat> Please, the people that are watching me, this is a discussion mode. We, can, we, we, are, we are discussing. From the comment section, I also want your opinion. Now, the United States who give intelligence details that there's going to be bomb attack in Abuja, and they conducted the search and they found those bombs, did not know that their convoy had. Still, still, they have functions in the Southeast. Police claimed that they were not aware. The governor of the state claimed that they were not aware. He wasn't aware. The governor of the state, the chief security officer of the state, did not perceive, did not know the presence of a convoy of American embassy, almighty American embassy. The governor of the state, which is the number one, the chief security of the state was not aware. The inspector general of police was not aware. Both federal and the state, and they left to either Lagos or Abuja on convoy. When they landed at the airport, nobody noticed it. No security details about it. When their convoy drove down to Anambra, nobody see it. Then, who now know the information becomes the agitator. <laughs> Are we making sense here? The police, 
doesn't know, DSS don't know about the movements because they, they blame, it's the, it's, it is in the news, that police blame the, the embassy because they were not aware. The governor of the state also said he was not aware. Then, come be with the agitator that was aware of all the movements and where they were going. That the governor of the state doesn't know where they were going. He doesn't know that they have a program in that day. He doesn't know anything about their journey. Now, who is saying the truth? I want us to begin to decode the codes. You know what we are doing now is that when you get um, some of us, we you know, we've lived in the zoo before we travel wherever we are today. Even here in wherever we are, if you want to load a card, there's something that ash color that covered the, the recharge card. It could be of any form. The recharge card, that thing covered it. You know what to do if, if you want to make use of those pin numbers, you got to scratch it. surface what we are doing is to search this atrocity when we scratch it come out you will see the real thing beneath so i want you to use your head use your brain and ask let the people begin to reason you know bible say when devil wanted uh, 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 david to provoke god he stared him to number the armies of israel so when the Nigeria government want to provoke uh, or gain sympathy, they commit one atrocity so that they can blackmail what we are doing. Blackmailing and propaganda is the stock in trade of Nigerian government. Oily, oily something beach, Abuchi. <laughs> um okay when you catch how are you god bless you thank you for coming some of you are still awake by this time some of you that are not in in our side um whether you are awake or you are normal time to be awake i salute your courage for coming so yeah catch that is truth so what i'm trying to say is how can Nigeria government is not aware about the movement, about the functions. More than the government that had their intelligence, intelligent gathering at their table. If ordinary me can have my intelligent gathering to defend my Biafran people, how much more a president of a country or a inspector general of police, the governor, who is the chief security officer of the state, we are not aware. So, this is for you to know who they are. This is for you to know where the attack come from. This is for you to know that they are looking for a way to activate for US government to ask them use the corner jet in Biafra land. That is what they are looking for. Even when they go for when when they went to US to seek for that permission, the US said there is no evidence, there is no reason for them to um, allow that. Now let me ask you again: We, you, United States, have question to answer in that event that took place. United States, you have a question to answer. My question, which I demand an answer from your government, is that: How come you, the king of intelligence gathering, one did not know? What will take place in, a, in Anambra State against your embassy's convoy? That is one. How come a function like that, none of your citizen, none of your citizen was involved in that attack, that convoy? None of your citizen going for that humanitarian functions to supervise what, or to supervise events or to report back to your to, to you, none of your citizen was involved. That means that uh, that arrangement that you guys arranged, you guys use our own people as a sacrificial lamb to achieve your dirty game. Because if it was ordinary, your citizen supposed to go that journey or be among that journey. 
then we can say you were neutral. Because I don't believe a king of intelligent gathering as almighty America is not aware of what is about to happen. Uh, some of you may ask me, how come that the uh, uh, World Trade Center was attacked? See, it was the oil that come from the pig. They used frying pig inside there. So that is why they don't know during the time of World Trade Center. But now we understand that America has a very powerful satellite. A very powerful satellite. They have an intelligent gathering. The Iranian military general that they shot in a helicopter during the time of uh, uh, um, during the time of uh, Trump. They know the movement of the guy. They decoded everything about it as the king of intelligent gathering. But how come one that you're supposed to know that you know that those terrorists in military uniform, the repentant Boko Haram, was dispatched in the south, southern east, uh, southeast, or Biafra land in general, to start committing atrocities, to start denting what we are doing. The secret uh, um, freedom fighting we are fighting. You guys plan together to dent it. Mr. John D.K. John D.K. Baghdad. Yeah. God bless you, Mr. John. They have all their intelligent gathering in Baghdad. American government have this is my question to answer me. Because you and your collaborator, the zoo, because you can tell us that you don't know about Nigeria. You can't say that. You don't know. You can't tell me. You can't tell the dear friends that you don't know that Boko Haram want to make Nigeria their safe haven. And you are rubbing the shit. You are pampering monster. Let me tell you, Afghanistan has come and gone. Today you lose in Afghanistan. Huh? Like our prime minister enumerated, and that is fat. You did it in Libya. You did it in Detis. You are still doing it in Sudan. You did in the name of biological weapon, mass destruction in Iraq. And at the end of the day, you went there and come out. We did not see the video of those weapons. You know all those things. You know them very, very well. But still, you did not know that your convoy, your embassy, supposedly to be your citizen. And when you were making your press briefing in your country, you categorically told us, told the world, that you that none of the U.S. citizen was killed. Your concern was your citizen. And due to you know about the plan, that's not involved. And that's why when you come to brief the world, the event that took place with your collaborator, the terrorist government in, 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 in Nigeria, you said categorically that your citizen was not killed. So those other people that died were roasted, <laughs> See, let me tell you, I know the way DSS operates. DSS would like to clean a footprint. They operate to try to clean footprints. But this time they meet intelligent people more than them. Not like them, more than them. See, let me tell you. Ordinary assassin cannot, cannot Mm? Ordinary assassin cannot, cannot, let me tell you, ordinary assassin cannot just kill civilians or part of those police that were protecting them and burnt them, burnt the whole car. You know what that means? Because there could be a particle, the particle of thumbprints that can be run on that car to ascertain 
who did that crime. US, you know what to do to find out who committed the crime. Now, to clean those footprints, those fingerprints, to clean all those the cars ablaze. Two. Two. When they go into the heating, because the history told us that they adopted two people. When they meet their own, <laughs> when they see their own, they speak, they speak their own language. They see that this is a Fulani man. They now adopt the two policemen. Now, let me ask you guys. How will they kill the, the other policemen who set them ablaze and take two off who are not from the Biafran region? I want us to begin to reason how then did they kill the ones they killed and took two alive and zoom off? Hmm? Now, when there's a plane crash, for instance, they publish the manifest, the manifest of uh, the plane. They publish it. They will see the people involved that was inside the plane. Now, where is the manifest of, or where is the list, the names of those people? I have not seen it in American website, embassies website, even the zoo. We're not even talking about the, the, the zoo area. We are not talking about them, but at least the name, the details of those people died in this attack. Then for us to know the identity of those two that they, they zoom off with. Now, did you see that this, the people that has ability to kill those ones they kill also have ability to kill all of them. But when they get there, they see their two Boko Haram member who was inside the bus communicating with them, <laughs> who was a part of the journey, who was communicating with them. You understand? The two policemen was a member of Boko Haram who is working under the zoo government, who was communicating, giving them the, the situation report, who was with them. That is where the two people, they took off, they took away with. I want us to open our senses to look at this event. Let us look at this event. Critical. <laughs> Let us critically look at this event. Now, the history, this, the, the, the story we had that they killed those ones they killed to blackmail our struggle. And those, their repeated Boko Haram, who was among them, who was the eyes, the eyes of the Zoo government, the eyes of the Nigerian government, the eyes of their collaborator. Then when they they go there, pick them, zoom up. That's to say, <laughs> mission complete. Yes, I'm coming to that, my, uh, my, so oh, my mommy, Diana. Thank you. Ah, you're still awake by this time. Your location is supposed to be sleeping. Wow, this is a huge sacrifice you just paid. Thank you. God bless you. Yeah, I'm coming to that as well. And then after analyzing, then I still ask, where were they going? Hmm? A whole U.S. diplomat have an event at a particular state, and the police is not aware. The state government governor, who is the chief security officer of the state, is not aware. Are you? Did they, did they look us as dummies or what? Hmm? Do you guys, Nigerian government? I'm asking you, DSSO, American government. I'm asking you, do you look us as dummy or what? You know the only thing that makes me angry. When people are telling me lies, you are, I see it as you are telling me, you are calling me a dummy. 
that I'm very, very stupid. I can't even decode the truth from the lies. So when you look at my face, start telling me lies. That is the thing that makes me more angry than anything. When you are probably from left to right, front and back, talking trash. I just look at my, I will just be listening to you. I will just be listening to you. That means I am just looking at you Say, see, this guy is, is calling me confirmed dummy. Fool. So, my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do where to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and bye-bye.